Hey, welcome back, Sweden, to your Caribou Data Science channel. Let's see, let's see what kind of numbers we had for you folks uh, last time. 19 and 11. Okay, Sweden. Okay, for the uh, for uh, for Friday, uh, September the 3rd, you had a total of 30 30 views. Okay. Now, of course, as we say here at on the Caribou Data Science channel. 30 views should equal 30 likes. So I'd appreciate, you know, appreciate the views. I appreciate that you're sharing these videos with your friends, your family. But we need to get those likes up. Because the only way YouTube is going to notice us if we get the likes up. Okay? So let's start off uh, looking at the uh, vaccine rollout for Sweden. Because hey, Sweden got a very late start. I mean, they didn't start doing vaccinations until August the 31st. That's probably because they didn't think they needed them, but that's okay. So, so far, Sweden has administered 12.8 million doses of this vaccine. And of those, uh, 6.9 million people have received a single dose, and 5.8 have received the full treatment. Which gives us a number of, uh, for a single doses of 68%, and 57%, 58% full treatment, okay? Kind of curious in it. Now, let's jump over here to, uh, to, the, uh, to the COVID-19 analysis. Uh, as we always do, we need to keep in mind that Sweden is, is sometime, for some reason, uh, someone actually, for some reason, I have, I have, I still haven't seen a good reason for it. I saw it, someone gave me an explanation about well, the because they're not retreat because they're not receiving Saturday or Sunday's numbers to Monday or Tuesday. Well, okay, that's fine. Go back and backdate your numbers in. There is no reason not to go back and add those numbers onto the correct dates. I'm sorry, I find it very hard to believe that when you get those reports in on Monday and Tuesday. They're all dated. They're all dated with Tuesday's date. I mean, don't aren't the date reports? Don't they have the correct date on there? Then go back, update you at some point during the week. Go back and update the Saturday, Sunday, and Monday's numbers. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. All right. Because the trouble is, as you'll see, there's a big because they're not recording the data for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. There's a big spike on Tuesday. Which, if you don't understand what they're doing, can be very misleading. It can, it can make your numbers look a lot worse than they really are. So let's just take a look at these numbers here, and you see exactly what we mean. So this is this is the main reason why what we're concerned with this Sweden is not the actual daily numbers, but instead the trend of the numbers. The, the trend, the trend is our friend. Are COVID are COVID nineteen cases and deaths in Sweden trending up, or are they trending down? So let's just take a look here. We'll start with cases as we always do. Well, see these spikes? You look, if all you saw was the red line, you say, oh, my gosh. We had 8,520 8, cases back on June the 3rd. Except, no, this is a Tuesday. So, again, if this is all you saw was the red line, you would think Sweden was in big trouble. Although they did have a drop down to here. But what we're interested in here is this blue line. A long declining pattern in uh, in Sweden, followed by in July, and begin to trend back upwards. And even while these numbers here are low, this this, this number here for Tuesday is still misleading. If you don't understand, that's that's three days worth of data. If that's four, if you don't understand, that that's four days worth of data. Okay, then it could be very misleading. Okay, because of, because of, because the spikes, the peaks, jump out at you when you look at the plot. Okay. The other thing to keep in mind, since you are in the in the beginning of your vaccine program, is that the vaccines in the U.S. will not keep you from getting COVID-19. They may reduce the severity of disease if you do get it, and they may reduce your chances of dying, but you, it will not keep you from, get, from getting COVID-19. It may not keep you from dying from COVID-19, okay? But Sweden's numbers up to this point have been very good. Let's take a look at deaths. Well, first, let's take a look at the 28-day moving average. So this is the... Average number of cases for the previous, as of August or August 21st, for the previous 28 days. 
So for the previous 20 days, ending August the 21st, you were averaging 928 cases per day. Now look at deaths. Look at look how low your deaths are here. Okay. A long declining pattern here, and while well, there is a slight trend up, I think it don't think it not the fact actually means anything. That's still below. It's still below the uh, trend the trend line here. So you can see that your deaths are still crazy low. Okay. So whatever you're doing is you should you should copy or you should bottle and send it out to the rest of the world. So for the 28th period in August the 28th, you were averaging 1.25 deaths per day, Sweden. So that number is still pretty doggone good. Now the weekly numbers helps to take care of that of those missing numbers also. Okay. So weekly numbers in this case may be a better number to look at. So as you can see there, this is 10,000 cases. So this is about, and this line here is 5,000. So this is maybe 7,000 cases per week right there, which means it's 100 cases per day on average. Deaths, look how crazy low your deaths are, Sweden. Don't be misled by all the talk of increasing cases. Deaths are what, was, deaths are what really matters, okay? Monthly cases, we, look how, even though August was higher than the previous three, two months, look how low it was. You have to go clear over to here the last time that the deaths were this high, the cases were this high. What about deaths? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven months in a row now, you've had a decline in COVID-19 deaths in Sweden, okay? That's what I want you to keep in mind. You, you, you're doing a fantastic job of keeping your numbers down, particularly your deaths down, all right? So anyway, Sweden, thanks so much for stopping by. Don't forget to click that subscribe button, the share button, and also that like button. Thanks so much, Sweden. We'll catch you tomorrow with an updated report.